The way that we would assess a man's fertility is with a semen analysis, and there's a few possible outcomes um, based on the different parameters that we measure during the semen analysis. So there's a term called oligozoospermia, which would just mean that they have lower than normal sperm count. Um, so the World Health Organization comes out with um, sort of guideline figures for what would be considered healthy semen sample in terms of the number of sperm cells, how many of them are swimming, the way in which they're swimming and the speed that they're doing it and the shape of the sperm cells. So oligozoospermia would be when you have less than what would be the ideal number of sperm cells in your sample in terms of the concentration in millions of sperm per milliliter. Um, asthenozoospermia would be if your sperm cells um, are not swimming as well as they should be, if a significant number of them aren't swimming below the healthy threshold, or just if they're being very slow and sluggish or swimming on the spot. Um, teratozoospermia would be if the sperm cells don't have a normal shape. So in humans, the shape of sperm cells, we've evolved a system of quantity over quality. So if even 4% of sperm cells are a normal shape in a sample, then that's considered good. Um, you could have azoospermia, which is where there's no sperm cells in the sample, which can be quite hard to diagnose because you have to make sure that there's definitely nothing there when you're just looking at a small part. So you have to centrifuge the sample very quickly to concentrate the cells into the bottom and um, have a look. Um, in which case those patients would normally need to go through a surgical sperm extraction where we would extra extract immature sperm cells directly from the testes. Um, and there's also cryptozoospermia where there are sperm cells there but they're very hard to find 